Hello, everybody, and welcome to Talkin' Chalk. I'm Ken Berthelot. Talkin' Chalk is a show where faith, sports, and leadership all come together. This week, we visit the Holy Cross Fighting Tigers. Since post-Katrina, it's been a return to prominence, slowly, but a return to prominence for the Holy Cross Tigers. Today, we'll meet Coach Barry Wilson. He's been the architect of their comeback into the football scene, and we'll also meet some of the senior class who has played a prominent role in helping Holy Cross get back to where they want to be. All of that coming your way right after this on Talking Chalk. Welcome back to Talking Chalk. Post Katrina, Holy Cross had lost most of its student body and its lower ninth ward campus. They had to drop down in classification to class 4A. Most of their rivals, however, were still in class 5A and the Tigers made a decision to play up against that competition. It wouldn't be easy, but it was important to Holy Cross alumni and to the young men coming to play football and to go to school at Holy Cross. Let's meet the architect of this Holy Cross football program, a guy who played on a state championship team in 1964 at Holy Cross, head coach, Barry Wilson. Barry Wilson, what's special about this year, this 2011 Holy Cross football team? Oh, I think the most special thing is, is our seniors. We only have 12, and they, uh, they're a great group of young men that have hung with us through thick, thin, uh, through ha having no classrooms and working out of trailers, but they've been with us the whole time. And uh, it's just great to see them uh, work at now at a fantastic facility and, and how hard they have they have kept us together. Those are the 12 guys. They're the glue that binds. And I know it's very special at Holy Cross when they put the HC on the side of the helmet. What got the HC on the side of the helmet this year? Well, this year we decided to put it back on because, like I said, we were having a tough time beating Jesuit anyway. And uh, we decided, myself personally and the headmaster, we said, we're going to put it on. We're, gonna, we're not going to use that as something uh, a negative. We're going to keep it on the head game. and we'll come up with something else that we want to do for the Jesuit game. But we, we need to keep that on because it's so recognizable by everyone in the stands and people that see it in the paper to see the HC on our head gears. How special was that for the senior class especially and the team as a whole to be able to come out starting at the beginning of the year with that HC for Holy Cross on the side of the hill. Oh, I think it was extremely, uh, it, it was a big thing for them. They wanted it, they wanted to have it. Uh, and by putting it on, it, it just gave them a little lift. And that that's all we we're t uh, trying to do is to keep them up and give them a lift and give them something to uh, work from. Talking Chalk is a show about leadership. You're talking about this being a special senior class. Talk about their leadership. What have they provided to the school, to, this, to the underclassmen on this team to make it special? Well, I think the biggest thing is uh, the, the ability to stay with it when things were at that roughness. That, that, that's the thing. When you, when well, after Hurricane Katrina, things were really rough, and, and it was a hard time. Uh, let's face it, Holy Cross was a tough place to get to. It was a very difficult place to get to, having to go over the St. Claude Bridge or the Claiborne Bridge, and that being up. And, and at that time, they really haven't rebuilt the Ninth, Lower Ninth Ward that much. So we were having to clean up mostly just to get there. But these kids chose to go and to stay and to work, no matter what the situation, to carry Holy Cross on. And I think that's the big thing. That's what you have to remember. They're winners all the way around for us. Uh, sure, football's the game, but in the game of life, they've succeeded all the way around. You're a Holy Cross man. You were on the state championship team 1964. That, I know, is in your blood, but what else besides that keeps Barry Wilson going as the head football coach at Holy Cross? Oh, uh, there's so many things, it's hard to explain. I, I tell you, I, I am Holy Cross through and through, but I think uh, they came up with a, an award that they give uh, once a Tiger, always a Tiger. And then I went on to LSU where we Tigers. So uh, the Tigers have been in my blood for a long time, and it always will be. And it was such a pleasure to get home. And people have asked me all the time, how was it when coming home? And I've been here 10 years now. I wish I would have done it 10 years before. I really do. I've had more fun in the last 10 years of coaching than I did in the final 10 years of my uh, 30, 42 years of coaching. Now, I'll be honest with you, the last 10 have been the most pleasure. This is also a show about faith and leadership through Katrina, through rebuilding Holy Cross. How much have you had to rely upon your faith, Barry, to just keep you 
focused? Well, I, I, you know, being a Catholic and uh, us having Mass all the time, uh, Father Basil Moro, I think, said it best. Uh, he, he wants us to be complete people. It, it's not, it just has not academics. It's not all academics. It wants you to be the complete man. And I think as we look into it, we want to help people all the way around. And I think that's what kept me going. We want to help. We needed help. People were willing to help us. And, and I just look back and just say, hey, it, it, it is unbelievable what Holy Cross has gone through to remain a, a prominent high school here in New Orleans. Uh, you know, I had a great time at Jesuit when I was there, and there's only two places I said I would work, and that's Jesuit and Holy Cross. That's it. And I've had the pleasure to work both, and both are very uh, religiously oriented and geared to helping people all the way around, and, and I think that's the, that's the thing you love most about uh, working at a Catholic school, is to how much they care about the uh, people around them and how much they want to help, and, and both schools do a tremendous job. Barry Wilson is very proud of this senior class. It's a young team, and this senior class is charged with helping rebuild a program that's going to win some championships in the future. One of the guys helping do that is senior offensive tackle number 71, Taj Smith. Taj, you play at a school with a tremendous history, and you play for a coach in Barry Wilson with a great history. What's it like playing for a legendary guy who's been at all levels of football and uh, being able to guide you in your career? I mean, it's an honor, especially playing for Holy Cross. It's not just like I'm it's not like I'm just playing for the other 22, 11 guys on each side. For my team, it's like I'm playing for all the hundreds that have played before me at this school. And um, it's great to play for Coach Barry Wilson and know all the wonderful accomplishments that, accomplishments that he made and hopefully someday I can make some of the same accomplishments. Now he's provided steady leadership along with the coaching staff through a rough start of the season for you guys losing your first six games against a difficult schedule but you get the big win at Fountain Blue and you can redirect your focus now at perhaps making the playoffs. Talk about the importance of leaders like yourself and the other seniors on this team dealing with the adversity of struggling early in the season and trying to bounce back now and uh, accomplish those goals of getting to the playoffs and making things happen. I think it's really important because a lot of the people get discouraged. A lot of the people think, oh, the season is pretty much over, but it's up to the seniors and the other leaders on the team to pretty much let them know that um, we can still, if we do good these next couple games, we can still make a run into the playoffs. All of our goals are ahead of us, so we can still make a run into the playoffs. Even We may even be able to win a state championship, depending on how hard everybody works and how we all commit to it. Adversity has been a big word for Holy Cross since Hurricane Katrina, obviously. Relocating to this beautiful campus that's still building and growing and seeing the enrollment here in the school also grow as a result. Talk about being a key member of the school, part of the student body through this great process of the last five years. Well, I mean, it just shows that like we can we can overcome a lot. We went to school in trailers right after Katrina. We um, we, we didn't really even have a locker room. We got dressed outside of cars and stuff, and we went out to practice, and it, it just shows that we're strong, and we, we, we didn't let Katrina take us away, so we're here to stay. Strong as a community, but also strong as individuals, ready for the future. When you see college right there on the horizon and moving on to young adulthood, talk about how Holy Cross has helped prepare you for that next stage of your life. Um, Holy Cross has helped prepare me, not only educationally, but uh, building relationships with uh, people. It also helped me to learn to take responsibility for my actions and to live with the good and bad decisions that you make. So it's really taught me accountability. When we come back, we'll meet more of the Holy Cross Tiger seniors. All of that coming your way on Talkin' Chalk on WHNO TV 20 Sports. Welcome back to Talking Chalk. Let's meet two more seniors on this Holy Cross football team who are helping rebuild this program for the future and a time when Holy Cross can make the leap from Class 4A back to Class 5A against their traditional rivals. In the midst of your senior year and your season, senior season on the gridiron as well here at Holy Cross, talk a little bit about uh, the experience of wrapping up your football career. You've been awfully successful and uh, also looking towards the future in college. 
Um, you know, it's kind of sad uh, leaving high school. You know, I had great memories here at Holy Cross uh, you know, for the four years at uh, playing football. Uh, miss a lot of people, and uh, you know, there's not that many games left. But uh, try to make the most of it, and try to see how far we could go into the playoffs, and hopefully we'll still have a while left. So now, when you go to a school like Holy Cross, you can't ignore the faith aspect of life here and, and the feeling of community. Talk a little bit about how your faith has been able uh, to be a, a rock, something you've been able to rely on throughout your career and just growing up. You know, still being a teenager, not just a football player and a student. Oh yeah, I'm definitely having fun, you know, uh, all the friends, you know, having a blast, we finally, we won a game, so, you know, everything's changed, like, at school, everyone's happy, so, I mean, this Holy Cross is just like a family, and, uh, it's like, football, you know, there's a group that's family and football, and then there's school, and, uh, uh it's just like, just how close everyone is, it's just, it's a good place. And that, that's what makes it exciting, a school like Holy Cross that's been so much uh, through so much as a community when you talk about the after effects of Hurricane Katrina, relocating to this brand new campus, but yet still staying together and now bouncing back not only buildings and the layout of the campus, but the school, the population is growing here again. Just talk about the excitement level of being a part of that, being a, an integral part of that really because of the class that you're in after the storm and being uh, five years removed uh, from the school starting to really bounce back. You know, it's great seeing uh, all these new kids and um, so many publicity of the school. You know, was, there was a commercial the other day and that was kind of crazy just seeing, you know, how beautiful the school is and it's just changed a lot. Kevin, I'm going to say little running back because you're one of my favorite height football players, as you can probably relate, but little running back with big heart. Talk about carrying the load and being a key to help the offense have that balance it needs here at Holy Cross. I mean, like, you know, we really um, small running backs don't get a lot of recognition. So, I mean, like, carrying a load, I wouldn't say much. I like to thank my line, uh, senior Ty Schmidt. And, like, they just do their best for me to open up the, they open up the holes for me. So I have to think, uh, think a lot about them. Now, the future for you, not just talking about on the gridiron, trying to make the playoffs, but let's talk about you moving on to the college level and what Holy Cross has meant to you as far as your faith being built here and growing to be ready for young adulthood. Uh, Holy Cross showed me um, as being a running back wise, never too small, and um, don't ever have any doubt in your head that you can't uh, be the best and make it onto the college level. And, uh, like always be the best man you could be when you get outside of here. You major in college, that's what they call it, but your high school career on and off the field, you can say that you've majored in adversity. Talk about the adversity you've dealt with, being small, dealing with post-Katrina life here, and uh, how that's made you stronger. Well, being small, you really don't get a lot of recognition. Not a lot of people think about, oh, he's not much to worry about on the team. He's a 5-5 running back. But like when they see me in the game, like they have to change up every uh, their game plan. Your coaches, your teachers, the administration here at Holy Cross, talk about what they've meant to you as far as being able to know you have people that you can rely on and trust. Uh, it means a lot, especially after the game. When I get that pat on the back, you did a great job this game. You really, uh, you really made the team now, and um, just that that smile on their face letting me know that I meant a lot in this game to them and all the fans. When we come back, we'll meet some of the most highly recruited players on this Holy Cross football team. All of that coming your way on Talkin' Chalk on WHNO TV 20 Sports. Welcome back to Talking Chalk. Let's meet three of the most highly recruited football players on this Holy Cross football team. They're all linebackers, Trey Hooper, Frank Juricic, and Freddie Miner. The Tigers still have great expectations for the season, but they were tempered a bit by a slow start, a difficult schedule, uh, maybe got the better of Holy Cross early in the season, but you get the big win at Fountain Blue, and now there's an opportunity to make the playoffs and perhaps make some noise as well. Talk about the tough start and the enthusiasm now of knowing you've still got a chance to reach some big goals this year. Uh, we knew from the jump that it would be a tough schedule, and uh, we try to stay mentally tough throughout that, but uh, we knew Slowly but surely, we're starting to pick up the speed and pick up our, our game plans that we knew we started, at least get a win, at least a final. But we were hoping for St. Aug, because we know that's our district championship right there. And we, we hope uh, we can still have a chance at that. But we know playoffs, with at least a couple more wins, we got that in the bag. Here at Holy Cross for 
these different years for the school, a, a great history uh, uh, for Holy Cross School, but the last five or six years being so difficult because of the storm and the aftermath. Just talk about uh, how you've been able to lean on this community here at the school and your faith in order to deal with that. Oh, that's that's just giving me, uh, giving me a better chance outside of my home life where things were, were difficult, where things we had to struggle. Parents worried about, you know, bills and jobs, but Holy Cross gave me that family sense where I knew I had some place to go besides my home if I ever needed anybody. So everybody here always had a family outside of my home. Talk about playing for Barry Wilson, having an experienced coaching staff, and particularly a leader like that head coach that you get to play for every day. Oh, he gives us that motivational speech every game, before every game at practices. He lets us know that we still have that chance that we all believe in, and he wants us to just stay he wants us to stay motivated and wants us to come out here and work work hard every day because he knows we have the potential, so we have to believe in ourselves, and that's all he wants for us. You look up to coaches, but you also look up to idols in the game of football. Talk about as a linebacker, somebody that you try to emulate your game after. Uh, um, Patrick Willis, I've seen him. Uh, I've seen his work ethic outside of the field, everything he does, like workout-wise and the things he does, what the things he does to prepare himself for the Sunday, for the Sunday game. So I just... I try to be like that, work hard all the time, not just on the practice field or on the game field, because practice, you know, it makes better. Not perfect, but it makes better, so hopefully I could be like that one day. Balancing football and academics. Talk about how difficult that can be. You want to be your best at everything you do, uh, but Holy Cross, how do they give you that foundation to be able to deal with all the activities that you take part in? Um, they help us with the way our schedule works, first of all. Uh, we don't have all seven classes in one day, so that makes it easier for us to uh, to balance our schoolwork and our activities such as football and other things we do. And then they, they help us out with things like uh, ACT classes, stuff like that. They try to help us balance out things and they try to help us to pro prioritize and schedule things for ourselves and time management. They teach us all of that here, so that, that's how they help us to manage those things. And finally, the Holy Cross Tigers going to the playoffs? Well, of course we are. Very few people get to share the total spectrum of experiences quite like the students have at Holy Cross over the last five or six years when you talk about Hurricane Katrina and the aftermath of it. Uh, give us a look into your experience and how Holy Cross has been able to help you as a community get through all the turmoil. Well, you know, uh, Holy Cross is in the ninth ward. We, uh, you know, we had to rebuild, obviously, and uh, just the whole moving process has uh, helped me build as a person because we uh, literally built from the ground up. So it kind of formed the band I am today your faith, part of the equation, certainly when you talk about being at Holy Cross and an, and an individual as part of this community. Talk a little bit about how faith has helped you to not only grow throughout your time here at Holy Cross, but to deal with the experience of Katrina. Well, God runs everything in my life. You know, I'm a very faithful person. Uh, anything that goes wrong, you know, well, even if it's going right, you know, I'll talk to God about it. It's just uh, kind of how I work, everything I do. And football being a sport that can be violent to say the least, physical and uh, difficult, but yet you're representing Holy Cross. How important is it to remember that as a team and how you're coached to feel that way and to remember that when you take the gridiron each and every Friday night? Well, we know that uh, no matter what we do, we're representing something way bigger than what we really are. And, uh, you know, over, you know, almost 100 years of football experience here at Holy Cross, just uh, it's great to have that on your back. Certainly you have to look forward now and you won't be here that much longer. Bittersweet, isn't it? It's, uh, I'm going to miss it. I know that for a fact. Uh, I'm already missing it, you know, regretting everything. Not really regretting, you know, just wishing I could go back and do it all again. Senior year and everything that involves talking about not only on the football field, but wrapping up here at Holy Cross and then looking towards your college future. Talk about how all that comes together for you at this time. Uh, yeah, I've been I've been here since fifth grade, so I've been looking forward to it for a while now. And uh, start the season off the way the way we did it. Was, it was tough, but we got a win last week, and it feels good to win. And certainly, you have an opportunity now because of that win. If you can win these remaining games on your schedule to reach the postseason after such a difficult start, talk about how the team held together to give itself an opportunity to make a run late in the year. Yeah, well, we had we had many short-term goals, but the main goal was to, to make the postseason and to do well in it, so we still feel very strongly about how, how we could make out in the playoffs. Talking about uh, being here since fifth grade, that means you've been through an awful lot. This entire community has because of Hurricane Katrina, relocating campuses. Just talk about what that whole experience has been like for you and how important it's been to be part of a faith-based community that's been able to hold together through all the turmoil. Yeah, well, I've been through uh, 
multiple different camp changes locations and all. At one point I had like seven kids in my grade in sixth grade and all. We're at night school at Cabrini and all. Just this, uh, the bond that we've had through my cl senior class is uh, we feel really strong just because the the what all we've been through. Leadership, you're born with it, but you also learn it from the people before you. Talk about the administration here, your football coaches, and teammates who have moved on now to the next phase of life and how you're able to learn from them in order to be a leader for this football team and Holy Cross as a community. Yeah, well, uh, my freshman year, we went 2-8, two, two and eight and uh, so the seniors had a tough year, but they were all just good lean, uh, leaders, and I learned a lot from them, and I couldn't ask anything more from my coaches. As, uh, they just make good role models. Now, you're talking about moving on to college, whether it's on the gridiron or not. Just uh, give us a view of how Holy Cross has helped prepare you to be ready to be, whether it's just a student or a student athlete, when you talk about moving on to the college level. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, since I've been here, all the teachers have done a great job preparing me for college, uh, ACT prep and stuff like that. Uh, I went to two ACT prep classes at Holy Cross and bumped up my score by a good bit. So the Tigers have restored the roar. Would you say that at this point? Oh, yes, sir. Good luck to the Holy Cross Tigers and Coach Barry Wilson for the rest of this season. Hope you've enjoyed this edition of Talking Chalk. See you next week right here on WHNO TV 20 Sports.